Now let's see this program. C program to check whether a given number is Armstrong number or not. First let's see what is Armstrong number. The sum of nth power of each digit is equal to the given number. So these are the several examples for the Armstrong numbers. 1, 2, 3, so on, 9. All single digit numbers are Armstrong numbers. Let us take 5. So 5 has only one digit. So 5 power 1 is equal to 5. The sum of nth power of each digit. Okay. So 5 has only one digit. So we have 2 power 1. So 5 power 1 is equal to 5. Next 153 is Armstrong number. Why? Because 153 has 3 digits. 3 digits. So we have 2 power 3. So the sum of. So we need to perform addition operation. On 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube. So 5 cube means 125, 3 cube means 27, 1 cube means 1. So 125 plus 27 plus 1 is equal to 153. So that is the given number only. Likewise 370 is an Armstrong number. Here 370 has 3 digits. So we have 2 power 3. So 3 cube plus 7 cube plus 1 cube. That is equal to 370. Likewise 371 is also an Armstrong number. 1634 is also an Armstrong number. 1634 has 4 digits. Okay. So 1 power 4 plus 6 power 4 plus 3 power 4 plus 4 power 4 is equal to 1634. So this is about what is an Armstrong number. Now let us write a C program in order to check whether the given number is Armstrong number or not. Okay. So for this we have to write the program. So let us write the let us uh, write the program now. So parallelly we will discuss the logic also. So let us start the program. Hash include. So first stdio.h. Why? Because we are using printf and scanner functions. Those two functions are present in stdio.h. Next here, uh, in order to calculate the power, we have to use pow function. Pow function is available in math.h. So hash include math.h, next int main, int main, next inputs, here the input is n, so int n, uh, so we need some other variables, uh, like uh, for, for calculating the reminder, we require r, uh, next uh, we need two more variables, temp for calculating number of digits, next armstrong for storing n value, Next, the initial value of the sum is 0. So, first let us read here. So, printf, enter n, enter n. So, n is the input here. Next, scan of, scan of percentage d comma, m percent m. Percentage d comma, m percent m. So, first here, let us take 153. So, 153 has 3 digits. So first we need to find the number of digits. If you take 164, 1634. So 1634 has 4 digits. So first we need to find number of digits of the given number. So that's why here after reading the n, store n in a variable called temp. Let us use temp for counting number of digits. And store n in a variable called Armstrong. Armstrong. So Armstrong is equal to n. So first let us count the number of digits of the given number. So how to count the number of digits. So here in order to count the number of digits, let us perform division operation. Okay. Uh, uh, for counting purpose, let us declare a variable called count. The initial value of the count is 0. The initial value of the count is 0. Here for counting purpose, we are taking temp variable. So why? Temp is greater than 0. So in the first iteration, n is 153. So we can say that uh, one, uh, this number has 1 digit. In the second iteration, n will become 15. So n will become, uh, count will become 2. Next year, n will become 1. So count will become 3. Okay. So we have to repeat the loop as long as temp is greater than 0. So every time we have to perform repetition. So temp is equal to temp by 10. So divide the number by 10. 
and increment the count value. So count plus plus. So let's check whether this logic is correct or not. What is jump value? 153. So 153 is greater than 0. Condition is 0. Condition is true. So temp is equal to temp by 10. So let us perform the division operation. So 10, 153. So 10, 15 are 153. Here division will always give quotient. So now n value will become, I'm sorry, now temp value will become 15 count plus plus. What is the initial value of the count? 0. So now count will become 1. Next, sir. Body execution is over. Once again, control goes to the condition. Why temp greater than 0? What is temp now? 15. 15 greater than 0. Condition is 2. So temp is equal to temp by 10. So 10 ones are 10, 5. So now temp will become 1. Next, count to plus plus. Now count will become 2. Next, why temp greater than 0? What is the temp now? 1. So 1 greater than 0, condition is true. So temp is equal to temp by 10. Temp is equal to temp by 10. So now temp will become 0. Next count to plus plus. Now count will become 3. Next once again control goes to the condition. Why temp greater than 0? What is temp now? 0. 0 greater than 0. Condition is false. So control comes out from the value. Now what is count value? 3. So 153 has 3 digits. So that's why count contains 3. Suppose if the number contains 1634. Suppose that the number is 1634, then we need 4 iterations. So count will become 4 there. Okay. So number of digits are calculated. So next we have to uh, we have to find the uh, we have to check whether the given number is Armstrong number or not. Okay. So for that let us write the logic. Uh, so first space constraints I am writing here. Why n greater than 0? So let the number is n. Let the number is 153. Okay, 153 greater than 0. So first we have to find out the reminder. First we have to find out the reminder. So what is the reminder here? 3. So let us find the reminder. Uh, in order to find the reminder, the formula is R is equal to N modulo 10. If we do modulo operation, then it will give the reminder. Now R value is 3. So how many digits are there in 153? 3 digits are there. So we have to perform 3 cube. So what is 3 cube? 27. That 27 should be added to the sum. Okay. Suppose if the number has 4 digits. Now initially R will become 4. To 4. 1, 6, 3, 4 modulo 10 means 4. So we need to perform 4 power 4 operation. Why? Because 1634 has 4 digits. Okay. So let us add n cube to sum. So for that purpose, use power function POW of Remainder means R. So here that count number of digits are available in count. Okay. Sum is equal to sum plus PW of R comma count. So first let us do these two operations. Why n greater than 0? n value is 153. 153 is greater than 0. Condition is true. R is equal to n modulo 10. 153 modulo 10 means modulo will always give remainder. So now R value is 3. Next to sum is equal to sum plus. So the initial value of the sum is 0. 0 plus POW of R comma count. What is R value? 3. 3 power. What is count value? Count value is 3. Already we have calculated the count. 3. 0 plus 3 power 3 means 27. So now sum contains 27. Okay. Here the operation on 3 is over. Next we have to perform operation on 15. We know how to store 15 in n. Simply we need to perform by 10. n is equal to n by 10. n is equal to n by 10. 153 by 10 means 15. So now n contains 15. So once again control goes to the condition. While 15 is greater than 0. Condition is true. So remainder will be calculated. r is equal to n modulo 10. What is 15 modulo 10? 5. Sum is equal to sum plus. Previous value in sum is 27. So 27 plus POW of R comma count. What is R value? 5. 5 power count value is 3. 5 power 3 means 145. So we have to add 145 to 27. So the result is 152. Next Operation on 5 is over. Next we have to perform operation on 1. So we need to store 1 in N. So that's why perform the operation N is equal to N by 10. So 15 by 10 means 1. 
So now n contains 1. So once again control with the condition. Why n greater than 0? n value is 1. 1 greater than 0. Condition is true. R is equal to n modulo 10. 1 modulo 10 means 1. Next sum is equal to sum plus previous value of the sum is 152. 152 plus p whatever value of r. r means 1. Count means 3. 1 power 3 means 1. So 152 plus 1 is equal to 153. Okay. Next n is equal to n by 10. 1 by 10 means 0. So once again control goes to the condition. 0 greater than 0. Condition is false. So control comes out from the binary. Okay. Here whenever the condition becomes false n contains 0. So that's why we need to store n in Armstrong number. Why? Because what is Armstrong number? Here the number contains 3 digits. So if the sum of cubes of digits is equal to the given number. But that given number is not there. Whenever the condition becomes false n contains 0. n doesn't contains 153. So that's why before checking the condition we have to store n in Armstrong. So now if Armstrong and sum are equal, then we can say that that is Armstrong number. Otherwise it is not a Armstrong number. So let us write the condition. If Armstrong double is equal to double equal to sum, then print of then print of Armstrong number. So print the number as Armstrong number. Else we can say that else we can say that not an Armstrong number. Not an Armstrong number. Next, we close the main function. Okay. So, here we have stored n value in temp. Temp for counting purpose. Counting the number of digits. And you have Armstrong for this condition. So, in this way, we can check whether a given number is whether a given number is Armstrong number or not. If these two are equal, then we can say that number is Armstrong number. Else, we can say that it is not Armstrong.